and welcome to the Home Park Review. Um, today I'm just going to uh, discuss briefly the match with uh, Portsmouth that was just on Saturday and then we'll uh, discuss the Oxford away game uh, which is tomorrow night at quarter to eight kickoff. So let's get to it. So I was at the match on Saturday and it was a very good game. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, first half, I thought it was uh, was it was a bit quiet, a bit tame, I thought. But, uh, yeah, it was it was OK. It was mostly uh, possession by Plymouth Argyle. And there was only one goal in it, really, uh, but scored by Sam Cosgrove. Um, he scored it in the 24th minute and, and he slotted it lovely past the keeper there. And the crowd just went mad. It was an absolutely brilliant goal. Uh, it was a bit of a melee, really, and uh, he managed to sort of tuck it away and get his foot in there. But uh, that was really all there was. I mean, it was a, it was a sort of... Yeah, you know, huff and puff uh, type of game, most mostly uh, possession by Plymouth Argyle. But uh, Portsmouth did come into it towards the late end of the second half, but didn't really show too much. Um, and then uh, it, it just got to half time, and, and basically that was that. So uh, Schumacher made a couple of substitutes uh, for the second half, and he brought on Azaz. Uh, and within pretty much a minute of Vazaz coming on, he, he bagged the ball in the back of the net again. He's just, just sort of a bit of a shimmy past the defender in the area and then slotted it round the right-hand side of the keeper. What a what a beautiful goal that was to make it 2-0 to our goal. And again, Plymouth Argyle was sitting pretty comfortable then for the most part. They had some nice slick plays and, you know, they could have gone uh, ahead again even more, but uh, didn't, didn't quite take the chances. And then just like the first half, slowly took their foot off the gas, I guess, just, you know, eased into the game and thought we were comfortable at 2-0. And uh, unfortunately, that allowed Portsmouth to come back into it a bit. And uh, and they managed to get a second goal, uh, Rico Hackett, uh, put it past Callum Burton to, to make it 2-1 uh, to Plymouth Argyle. Um, and then it sort of got to uh, late in the game. And, uh, and as I say, Argyle took their foot off it a bit and uh, Plymouth, uh, Portsmouth started to come back into it a bit. Uh, and it was getting a bit hairy towards the, uh, the uh, latter end of the game there. But thankfully, as it went into extra time, um, Argyle sort of got the ball off. It's like a, the defender headed it out from in his own area and then slotted it across some excellent passing to get it up to the halfway line. Before uh, I think it was Sam Cosgrove, and he slotted it through for Ryan Hardy, uh, and he, he sort of ended a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and chipped it over into the net. It was a beautiful goal and well taken. And um, so then it ended uh, full time, three-one uh, to Argyle, and that takes them back to the top of the table. Since uh, Sheffield Wednesday only drew with uh, Ipswich, well done Ipswich. We have to say they they made it hard work for, for when they played the uh, Plymouth Argyle. Um, and they obviously made it hard work for uh, Sheffield Wednesday as well. A uh, stubborn team. Uh, and thank you, Ipswich, for uh, doing that to uh, Sheffield Wednesday as well. So that puts Plymouth ahead in the table uh, by two points. Uh, Plymouth are gone on 64 points ahead of Sheffield Wednesday on 62 points. So next up for Plymouth Argyle is Oxford away. And that is tomorrow night. It's a uh, eight forty-five or quarter to eight uh, kickoff. Um. So yeah, they're going to be playing against a, a struggling Oxford. Um. So I I can't see anything other than a, an Argyle win for this one. Uh, I really can't because uh, what do we say? O Oxford are sixteenth in the table, and they played out a one-all draw with Milton Keynes, and they're also struggling in twentieth place. So. <laughs> Again, that kind of tells you the kind of game that would be. Um, so let's have a look at some uh, stats. So let's have a look. OK, so here we are. We could see uh, Oxford's last games there, last few games. And there is uh, Milton Keynes Dons, the one all draw. And then prior to that, I lost to Shrewsbury Town. And then 2-1 to Barnsley. And then they lost 2-0 at Burton. 2-0 at Oxford and uh, uh, sorry uh, at Wickham and then uh, they actually beat Ipswich Town which is a strange one out of the blue there and then uh, and then they managed to beat Fleetwood Town who were also struggling um, again if we look at the tables here you could see there's Oxford down in 16th place um, and you look at the, the last five games it's just four losses and a draw and uh, 
and then Fleetwood Town, much the same. And, and I, I've picked Fleetwood Town out because uh, after Oxford, it's it's the next home game for uh, Plymouth Argyle, which we'll be at, and we'll do a report from that. But you can see these are pretty much the same. You know, they're at 16th and 17th, respectively. Similar kind of results. Um, so I can see nothing other than a Plymouth Argyle win here. Win, they win away at Oxford. Um and also win away at uh, Fleetwood. So let's have a look again at uh, the forthcoming fixtures for Plymouth. And there you see the Oxford Plymouth Argyle at quarter to eight to kick off. And then the next home match is Saturday the 18th of February at with uh, Fleetwood Town are the visitors. And we will be going to that and there will be a report from uh, Home Park by us on that one. Uh, and then it's the Papa John's Trophy uh, to 8 o'clock on Tuesday, the 21st of February, Plymouth Argyle versus Cheltenham Town. OK, so that about sums it up. So, I uh, yeah, tomorrow night, I see nothing uh, more than a Plymouth win. Easy. Uh, it's got to be 2-0, 3-0, maybe more, but we'll stick it at that for a minute because uh, Plymouth Argyle's form is not great when they go away. But, you know, against Oxford, you have to say... Uh, Let's, you, you've got to say that Plymouth Argyle should be looking to win that, you know, compared to where they are on the table and everything, and the, their current form guide suggests it's Plymouth win all day. So come on, Argyle. Okay, so that about rounds it up, folks. Thank you very much. If uh, Please like and subscribe if you like the video, um, and uh, I'll see you uh, after the game tomorrow for some kind of report on the result. Thank you very much. Bye.